Good morning everybody. This is a quite a bit different of a video than I usually do. But uh, I decided to go through my old baseball and card, sports card collection from back in the day. And uh, let me tell you, it was a bit overwhelming. I want to go through some of the things that I learned along the way and uh, what the way I'm going to proceed. This is just a few of the cards. Uh, let me see the Sean Kemp Gold. I think that's from. Sorry for this glare. I don't have a very good camera setup. Chris Weber. I have tons of Chris Weber. And mostly stuff from the early 90s. Junk card. Junk wax stuff. But, uh. What I did was I went through my tons of boxes and uh, I don't know some of these are not what I thought they were. And I was trying to decide what to do with the cards. The, <clears throat> the card market now is so much different than I when I put these cards up. I, that was like 30 years ago. And uh, most of these guys are Hall of Famers now. I just have, like, I'll have a bunch of the same cards. I, these are Shaquille O'Neal re, Rebound King cards. And there's more of those. And a fifth year anniversary hoops card. But a lot of the Rebound Kings cards. Sorry for this glare. I'm going to try to get this figured out so that this is an all-star class from Upper Deck. All-NBA Upper Deck. So I have a ton of O'Neills and Hardaways, Anthony Hardaways and Jordans and Chris Webber rookies. Sorry, I'm switching them out here. But I thought I'd just give you an idea of the... This is just scratching the surface. These are just the ones that I pulled to... Possibly get graded. And when I was going to send them in to get graded... PSA, the main grading company, sh shut down. And then BGS, the second one shut down so after going through hundreds of thousands of cards I think at least I put uh, put at least six big boxes back up in the garage and kept a couple out of the best cards that I could figure out by doing my research and uh, finally found a place I think that I'm going to take them to get graded. I did create a packet of cards to get graded in the company I think that I'm going with. I'm sorry I got I don't have a tripod. And I'll pull these out. I was going to send them in right now. I had them all packaged up and I thought I might want to do a video just to in case anybody needs that. So these are the cards I decided on. There's Michael Jordan Retirement. Uh, Kevin Garnett Rookie from top, uh, from Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Reggie Miller Beam Team. 
I just chose that because it's got pretty good centering on it. Uh, Skybox Michael Jordan salutes card. Sorry. Dynamic dunks insert from Skybox Premium. Some of these old cards were pretty cool. I know I don't usually do videos like this. I'm a car guy and I do car stuff usually, but I'm going to be doing cards for a while, so figured I'd do a quick video. And This is a Shaquille O'Neal Topps Finest. It's a second year card, but it's first finest card, I believe. Derek Jeter would be Michael Jordan. Topps All-Star, and that's a, I don't know, Topps Gold, I don't know if you can see it. Then these cars right here, I don't know why they're not more popular, but hopefully they will get that way. This is a Chris Webber Classic Chrome card. They were limited to under 10,000. I think it's 90. There it is. 9750, 9750. So it's probably one of his rare rookie cards. Even Top Spinest is probably has more of a population than these do. This is probably closer to a Spinest refractor number. So hopefully those will start going up, but I wanted to get it graded. And Shaquille O'Neal, Thunder and Lightning. This is from the Skybox Premium insert set. Shaquille O'Neal's Thunder and Anthony Hardaway is Lightning in the back. So I always like that card. And keep these in order. Because I have a, a list. And I want to keep them in order for the guys at the grading company and I'll get into that in just a minute go through the rest of these I, I picked out 20 cards because it's, grading's not cheap and I don't have much of a budget you know so just starting out here I, I will continue to do this because It's uh, something I have to get done. I don't want to leave it to my family to do this when something happens to me or whatever. But, so another Kevin Garnett rookie. This one is Hoops. Then a Ken Griffey Jr. This is the Bloody Scar error card. I don't know if you can see it too well. But it's in pretty good shape. The centering's good. Kim Olajuwon gold card, Michael Jordan base card. Kept that one out because it just looks good. You want to look at the centering from side to side and top to bottom. This one might be slightly off top to bottom, but it's not real bad. Then another Jordan base card. That one's really nicely centered. <coughs> And this is an insert from Upper Deck SE of Michael Jordan. Reggie Miller rookie card. An 88 Fleer. Uh, Michael Jordan, he's back card. And then a couple of Shaq rookies. And again, I apologize for the glare in here. I, I don't know how to... My first video doing this stuff. And... But there's the Shaq rookies. But the company I went with for grading seems like they're a really great company. They, uh, They're a new company and they use 
artificial intelligence to grade all the cards so it's not like a uh, takes out the human error factor they do still do quality checks I suppose in uh, human eyes looking at them but uh, I had a few questions when I had I had an issue with uh, getting the page done to, of the cards that I was sending in and uh, sent him an email yesterday and yesterday was Sunday and surprising, very surprising to me one of the owners of the company called me back and took care of it himself personally plus he sent me a couple of uh, emails on on uh, some of the things that they the tops that they put in their card holders so that they match the cards better and overall they were really helpful and with the with the state of the card grading right now it's very refreshing to uh, have a company like that out there name of the company is pure graded X I was uh I'm taking advantage of their sale this week. They were having a sale on what they call junk wax and you can send in uh five cards for fifty dollars. So that's pretty good. I'm just gonna that's all the cards. I wanted to have a video of all the cards before I send them in. And uh, then I'll do a video when I get them back at what they get graded at. It's supposed to be 30 to 45 days or 30 to 60. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. But just an update on what I'm doing. I'm, I'm a, I run a Corvair club and uh, it's online so I don't make any money. I've been doing that for 10 years and I'm uh, trying to figure out a way to just fund my life because of the... Uh, work slow and the Facebook's groups don't don't make you any money or anything so I'm gonna try to get rid of some of these cards I have like I said I've got this is the smallest sample of, of what I've got here this is just a, a drip in the bucket like all of these are Keel O'Neill cards, and then I did a lot of basketball when I was into it more. And now our Nuggets are, since I'm from Colorado, the Nuggets are in, so I'm looking probably for some Jokic cards. We had a few of these Jordan uh, inside-outside cards. Few of them, Jordan Base card. But anyway, I'll come back and talk to you once I figure out how this grading stuff goes. Maybe even before that, on some of the things I've been looking at and learning myself. And maybe if you guys have any interest in any of these old wax cards, maybe hit me up. Let me know how. The, some tips on videos maybe for the future <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna try to get uh, better camera equipment and stuff but until then I thank you guys for watching please click like if you if you do like and uh, subscribe and that way you could see my journey these cards have been up in my attic for almost 30 years and most of these guys are Hall of Famers now and I just had put them in books and boxes and put them up there so I will be bringing them out slowly I'm just gonna you know do do it like I am 20 30 cards at a time we'll see what happens but thanks for watching and I'll see you here soon